Yo, what is up guys? Joke here bringing you a follow-up video for my Diablo 4 Season 6 First Impressions. At this point, we have 50 hours of playtime in the game. We're level 60, we're Paragon 189, and we've completed our full season journey as well as Battle Pass. So with 51 hours in the season and majority of the content completed, how do I feel about D4 currently with the season six and the Vessel of Hatred expansion? Honestly, I'd say I'm pleasantly surprised. I would give D4 a solid seven and a half, eight out of 10 right now. There are a few changes that I would still like to see, but it is a very solid ARPG at this point. Like I said in a previous video, it's essentially like they took uh, D3 and they made it into an MMO. And I know that's going to turn some people away, but I think that is a huge positive, right? I think the community was one of the things that D3 was really lacking. So having D4 being more of that casual and community driven MMO isk uh, ARPG gives it its own spot in the ARPG community. I don't know what's going on, but this season I have had the worst connectivity issues ever. It's been insane. Every couple of hours, like every six, seven hours, I'm just DCing from the game for no reason. There's no warning. Sometimes it's not even that long. Sometimes it'll be in quick succession. I've missed out on world bosses. I've lost bossing materials. I've lost infernal compasses and um, nightmare sigils, right? I'm losing materials that I can't get back because of Blizzard servers. And every time the game crashes on the Blizzard launcher, there's a patch that goes through. And if you look at like the patch notes, they're literally patching everything like daily. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know what they broke, but the servers have, in my opinion, never been worse. I would love, love the game if I could actually stay connected to it, because after you lose too many boss materials in a row, which are a finite resource, then you just get annoyed and you get tilted and you stop playing. While we're on negatives and cons, addressing one of the things that I mentioned in my previous video, where one of my main complaints was the tempering system, right? Where I was saying that it's stupid that you can just roll random shit. That's not actually what you're looking for. There needs to be a way for you to target a modifier and slam it onto an item. While there is not that, there is a scroll of restoration. I don't know how new this is. I don't know if this was last season or this season when it was added, but it essentially restores my tempering charges on an item. It says once per item. So essentially it doubles the amount of chances that I have to get affixes that I like. Is it the best? solution no but it is a solution and if it is if that is the way they want to go about it then it is the solution but I just wanted to go ahead and point that out since it was one of my complaints in my last video and there is technically a solution for it but with that out of the way, I want to go ahead and address my second main complaint. Um, and that is going to be the torment system. I believe I praised this in the previous video, but I'm going to go ahead and have to uh, say I don't like it as much as I did. Maybe it's because I was only getting into T1 and it felt cool. But as I progress through T2 and T3, oh, there's some of the lag I'm talking about. And I don't know if this is just a me thing or what, but sometimes I have rendering issues, sometimes I don't, and it doesn't seem to matter what kind of settings I put on. But uh, back to the whole difficulty scaling thing, right? This is a little bit ridiculous in my opinion. We'll go ahead and we'll kill a couple of mobs. Here, we'll kill this other elite as well and kind of just show you the difference. 
because originally it felt good going from like the normal difficulties, then going to torment one. I'm like, okay, it got a little bit harder. That's understandable. It's going to be dropping ancestral items makes sense. Right. Uh, but that is not the situation for the higher torments, uh, torment three, and I'm not in torment four, so I can only imagine, but these difficulty changes are substantial, like not five, 10 times substantial. This is like hundreds of times of a multiplier. The difficulty that they added in the uh, torments, it seems to be literally just adding zeros, right? Um, that seems to be all that changes because I haven't noticed an increased drop rate on gold resources, anything going from Torment 2 to Torment 3. Once again, I'm not in Torment 4 yet, but I highly doubt that the resources are going to shoot through the roof. And look at this damage difference between a, a T2 area and a T3 area. Okay, here's Here's some mobs that actually have DR, right? And, and here's some elites. Like the difference in damage reduction and HP is just insane. On top of the fact that you get reduced, uh, you get reduced armor and resistances as well, making you have to recap. So it's just seeming like difficulty for the sake of difficulty and it's not really adding anything additional in my opinion i haven't noticed anything i went in ahead and i ran some of the underground cities i ran some nightmare dungeons i ran some infernal hordes to like see if i felt a difference and there's really not i wasn't feeling like i was being any more rewarded doing a t3 nightmare dungeon compared to a t2 nightmare dungeon i know there's supposed to be an increase in legendaries uniques and myths per tier but i have not seen it and the difficulty increase in my opinion is too much right like if it was just a nice linear thing that would be one thing but this is like this right the damage increase that monsters get and the amount of hp that they get going from torment two to three is no joke at least a hundred x and that is just ridiculous with that being said, I still do recommend Diablo 4 for ARPG players, especially casual or newer ARPG players. I think it is going to be the best experience for you. I think Diablo 4 is finally in a good enough state for me to actually recommend on top of the fact that Blizzard seems to be finally going in the right direction with the game. It kind of justifies at least the $40 price tag. I'm not going to say the full 80 or the full 100, right, for these additional purchases that you can make towards MTX and stuff like that. But if you buy the base game for, I think it's 40 or $50, you will definitely get your 40 or 50 hours of playtime out of it. And that's all you have to purchase because the expansion is only giving you the character. You do not need the expansion to access the extended campaign or the Nahantu region. Um, I double, triple checked through the shop and I wasn't seeing anywhere where it specified you have to own the expansion to continue with the campaign or go to Nahantu. So you can go ahead and just come here with the regular $50 game, which like I said, you will get at least 50 hours out of. And that's usually how I kind of see value right is if i can get an hour of play time for every dollar i spend in my book that is a win i know it is subjective and different for everybody but as long as i can get an hour of play time for every dollar i spend i feel like that's a good purchase but what do I know, right? I'm just some guy on the internet. D4 bad. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, though. Everything that I wanted to go over in this video after completing my season journey 
pretty much my ending thoughts for D4 currently. Uh, next things you're going to see on the channel is probably going to be like a Torchlight intro video because Torchlight Infinite is also another ARPG that I do recommend that does have a lot of stigmas tied towards it. But I have like 200 hours in that game at this point. And I've only played for like three seasons and each time I played was only a couple of weeks, right? So it's like 50, 60 hours each time I played. And that one is actually free to play from the start. But yeah, uh, I don't want this video to be any longer. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content. And until next time, take care.